to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes as well as some vegan travel and vlogs in New York City. So today I'm bringing you another what I eat in a day video, but we're going to switch it up a little bit because I'm going to be only eating one color. So I will be eating orange for the entire day as sort of a mini challenge and I've done a couple of other colors in the past. If you want to check those out, I will leave them in the description box below. But today is going to be all about orange. And I'm actually really excited because some of my favorite foods are orange, like sweet potatoes, um, pumpkins, oranges of course, and orange food is actually very, very rich in beta carotene, which our body turns into vitamin A, so it's really great to eat in the winter in particular. Um, that's why a lot of these produce items are more abundant in the winter, so things like pumpkins, butternut squash, these are definitely fall foods, and I'm so excited to eat them all today. I'm also super excited because today's sponsor of this video is going to be Ninja, and I'm gonna be trying out their new Duo Smart Screen Blender. It comes with Freshback technology. This is the most high-tech blender that I've ever owned. I'm pretty excited to show you guys how it works. Um, the fresh back technology is something that's actually very visible as well so you'll see the difference between a smoothie or a juice that's made with it and without and I'll show you guys that later on in the video but for now let's get into breakfast because I have a yoga class I have to go teach and I need food in my belly before I do that so I'll see you guys in a second okay so this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast they are sweet potato pie boats I don't really know what to call them but basically it's a baked sweet potato and then I put like a little crumble on top and then some maple syrup, almond butter, and then some pumpkin spice pecans or pecans. How do you guys say pecans? Do you say pecans or pecans? Anyways, it's a really, really yummy fall recipe because it's kind of warming. So instead of a smoothie, you can have a sweet potato boat. And it's also a really great dessert. So I'm actually going to be making these for my family's Thanksgiving dinner as sort of like a healthier alternative to having just a standard sweet potato pie. And I'm going to head off to yoga and I think I'm going to test out the blender when I come back from yoga because I always like to follow up a yoga session with like a little smoothie or a juice. So that'll be the perfect time to test out the blender. Um, but for now, let's get into breakfast. <laughs> and I forgot to mention that I'm eating this because of course it's orange. So sweet potatoes were the first thing that came to mind when I thought of orange food. And I'm so excited to eat them. I just got back from yoga and I'm about to make a smoothie. I want to try the new blender out and I have some amazing orange fruit that I bought just for this video. So let me grab that. Whoops. Oranges, of course. And I have a papaya, which is not orange on the outside, but definitely is once you cut into it, so don't worry. Um, what else do I have? I have some passion fruit, which are also orange on the inside. At least I really hope so. I have some frozen mango, which is one of my favorite fruits ever. Um, I just have it frozen because it's not really easy to find in the US and it's out of season now anyway. So we have some mango, passion fruit, oranges, and papaya. And I'm gonna turn that into like kind of a tropical smoothie. Um, which will be really good for the winter actually because lots of vitamin C. I'm going to make two different smoothies. One's going to be with the fresh vac and one's going to be without so you can see the difference. All right, I'm just going to bring you into the kitchen for a sec. This is the actual blender and then this is the vacuum pump that you put on top of it and it removes the oxygen from your smoothie or juice. Let's try and figure this out. I'm having issues. I told you, this is a high-tech blender. Okay, I think I figured it out. I was doing it wrong. So you turn it on and then the screen shows up. Ooh, so cool. Okay, um, so I'm gonna make a smoothie first without the fresh vac so you can see. And first papaya. Papaya is one of my favorite fruits ever. Look at that, it's so beautiful. And it's definitely very orange. Um, I'm gonna remove these seeds though because I know some people eat them but I'm just not hardcore enough for that so we'll move that to the side for now. And then let's hope these passion fruit are orange inside as well. Yes, okay, so you can see inside that they're orange. And I always like to eat my papaya with something citrusy because I find that it just balances out the flavors a little bit more. Sometimes papaya can taste a little bit more mellow. So adding citrus like lime or passion fruit is really good. And then of course orange, which I think I'm just gonna juice. Of course it's orange and then mango's orange as well. So I think everything is ready now. I have these orange slices, I just kind of skin them. I think I'm gonna do one more. One fourth of a papaya I'm gonna put in one whole orange, maybe a little bit more, maybe one and a half oranges, maybe one orange, one orange, and then I'm going to put in half a passion fruit as well. And then I'm going to put half of this frozen mango in. Okay, hopefully that's good. Now we're going to blend this and see what happens. And then you take your fresh vac pump, so this is the pump itself, and it goes on top of this. 
So let me zoom you out so you can see. Fresh back pump on top of the smoothie and I'm just gonna push on. It's sucking out the oxygen. But then I think you remove it. I have to check the guide. I just wanna make sure I do this right. Okay. And then we blend. So there shouldn't be any oxygen in here right now. And then we're gonna blend it up. I'm gonna bring you back in so you can see again. This is the one that I made with the fresh back, and this is the one that I made without. The texture of this one is so much smoother and silkier, and this one has like bubbles that I can see at the top. Um, maybe I'll show you the top views better. Okay, you can definitely see the difference in color now. You can see that the one made with the fresh back technology um, is a lot more vibrant and just kind of like bright in color versus this one which is kind of turning like a pale color. So to compare texture, you see how this one looks a little bit more um, like it's already separated. This one is a lot more smooth and still in one piece. So if you're the type of person who likes to make smoothies in advance, I would definitely use the fresh back so that you can have a smoothie that tastes a lot better the next day and just like so much fresher. This is crazy. Okay. I think I tried it enough. Definitely feel like this one has more of like that pulpy feeling to it. This one has less of that texture. Um, and it's just so smooth. This one tastes like a puree and this one kind of tastes like a, it kind of tastes like when you make a smoothie and you just use like not enough liquid, you know what I mean? I'm going to get some work done now and then I'm going to see you guys at lunch and I think I'm going to make something savory. So, so it's kind of dark now because it's a rainy day and it's kind of late. I'm having sort of a late lunch or a dinner, if you will. Um, I'm basically going to make a lentil curry, I think. I'm going to use some butternut squash in it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and roast this first. I'm also going to make it with onion and garlic, which are kind of orange. Um, where is my onion? Pause while I go find my onion. All right, we've got the setup here. We have the butternut squash, which I roasted beforehand. That's definitely orange. We have some red split lentils, which as you can see are kind of more orange than red. We have carrots, um, little roasted garlic clove hiding over there in the corner, some orange tomatoes, some onion, which I know is white, but don't forget the outside of an onion is orange. In the mug, we have some veggie broth, and then last but not least, we have some spices, turmeric, and some curry powder. And I'm going to have to kind of wing this because I can't use the ingredients that I'm used to using, so we'll just have to hope this turns out well. Normally, I add canned tomatoes, but since those are red and these are orange, I'm just going to... super super quick so I think I'm gonna do one of my staple recipes um, it's not even a recipe because it's so simple and it happens to be orange so that's perfect for today I'm gonna be using some red lentil pasta which I know you would assume it's red but it's actually orange um, yeah I would call it more of an orange let me show you I would almost call it like a brick color it's sort of like an orangey red um, and once you cook it down, it definitely becomes a little bit more orange. And I'll be adding it with some orange um, siete cheese sauce. So you'll see that. We'll definitely make it more orange. I promise. <laughs> Alright, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun eating orange and I definitely have to say it was one of the easier colors to eat compared to some of the ones that I've done before. So a lot easier than blue for sure. And some of my favorite foods ever involved in this. And you can leave a comment and let me know what kind of color you'd like to see next because I'm kind of running out of colors to do. And I know that some of you guys have recommended like gold and silver, but um, I haven't figured out yet how I would do that. So for now, some realistic color suggestions 
please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next color challenge video that comes out. And big thank you to Ninja for sponsoring today's video. If you want to check out their blender, that info will also be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye! Thank you.